still the tidiest, largest, quietest module we have here. It's a pleasure to work in here anytime. <clears throat> and you can see fairly minimal stowage on the walls here. We'll pause for a pause for a quick moment here and show um, Bob's uh, sleep station. Bob has been our uh, displaced refugee without a uh, sleep quarters of his own, but uh, he's made very good use of uh, this location. And uh, we have the water wall behind there, which we've set up to give Bob some radiation protection and, of course, as a bit of a standoff uh, to protect the shell heaters back there. And uh, this is all empty space behind there, in the forward two location. And uh, looking up, in the uh, empty bay here, you see uh, soft stowage, Japanese style, with the uh, the straps up there, which actually are working out very nicely. They're very easy to access, and uh, we have no problem getting stowage from up here. Okay, and a, a quick look back at the uh, hatch area, the gem port hatch area, very clean, very accessible. Moving port, SSC 14 over here, which uh, is wireless and we like to use for our conferences. It allows us to uh, fly the camera around a little bit and to give people a, a fly through of the station during our video conferences, which is very nice. And we do have uh, a little bit of stowage over here after the uh, airlock. and uh, potentially forward. I think crew members have slept at both of these locations before and of course this is an area we use uh, also for PAO and uh, for uh, some of our photo events because we have the magnificent window behind there. And looking up into the JLP, um, I think you're probably aware that we do have one of our EMUs stowed in here. It makes things much easier to uh, work in the uh, airlock. And uh, some of these bags are actually empty that we have up here. The uh, 3.0 CTB here is, is empty. We had found uh, food containers in that. We moved those to Columbus Forward 3 in an effort to try to consolidate all of our food. As the other EMU that was already uh, stowed up here, the uh, robot uh, trainer. And uh, Bob has also been using this as kind of a... Uh, private area for uh, cleaning or for uh, hanging laundry and uh, uh, dressing so uh, that's JLP uh, obviously just right now very loose stowage uh, but uh, a lot of potential here and uh, you can see we have a couple of ecocks here I think uh, these are mine and Gennady's just uh, floating and back down we go I will make uh, one note that... Um, We're checking Koichi. I don't think so, but we'll look into it. Thanks, Jay. We've had uh, food stowed in so many different locations, including obscure panels in the FGB, and uh, as well as the FGB floor, uh, Columbus Forward 3, hey, here in the JPM, up in the JLP. Get you on the ground, see if that helps. And uh, we worked pretty hard to try to consolidate that. In... Um, well, let's see, behind... Uh, Okay, this panel, which is the uh, aft five in uh, in gem, there's actually quite a bit of food in 3.0 CTB containers. I believe we have about 50 containers in there. Still, uh, some of those are Expedition 18 Russian food containers. And uh, we're going to uh, go into Columbus. Quick note that we have the uh, the WAP stored up here. And uh, into Columbus working module and Dr. Thursk is working hard today and uh, we'll first uh, swivel around since we're talking about the hatches and the uh, Columbus port hatch ring unencumbered seals in good shape See the ATU and the uh, headset unit there. Uh, 
and uh, we've reported in the past that the uh, hard shell covers for the PFAs and PBEs in here uh, A don't seem to fit and B don't seem to uh, protect and uh, if anything they might be a little bit more in the way than than uh, helpful and uh, we might uh, be looking for some alternatives there for uh, storage. I think probably the only thing you really need covered is that uh, PBA there, and perhaps, or I'm sorry, the uh, the magic mask itself, and perhaps the uh, top of the PBA. But uh, otherwise, uh, these are low trafficked areas and uh, fairly safe. And with regard to stowage, uh, the only thing uh, that we would consider soft and dynamic stowage in here is probably the uh, Columbus Forward 3 area. We reported that uh, we've tried to consolidate our food rations here as much as possible. So right now we are stored in the uh, JPM where I showed you before and here in Columbus Forward 3 as well as the FGB and uh, no other locations besides deployed. We have had a beta cloth cover on here but since we access this quite frequently uh, we've just used the bungee trap here and that's worked for us quite well. As you can see there's still uh, quite a bit of Expedition 18 uh, Russian food here. There's uh, on this date of uh, June uh, 18th, we still have about uh, 17 or 18 uh, containers here and then a few more in uh, JPM. So we're still not quite done burning down the uh, Expedition 18 containers. Uh, but this area does uh, serve as a very good uh, staging area for food. It's uh, easily accessed and uh, easily uh, reorganized as needed. And looking very quickly at the uh, starboard end cone, some uh, storage here beneath the uh, power bus distribution and the caution and warning panel. Same issue with the uh, PBA covers and the uh, PFE covers here in the end cone. Uh, not too helpful, but uh, this is a very low trafficked area. This happens to be our recommended location for uh, setting up BCAT again. Uh, over here in this area, which again uh, is uh, very low traffic and uh, certainly nobody lives here and I think that uh, maintaining access to the emergency equipment would be quite simple. This also fulfills the BCAS requirement to be oriented in the uh, x-axis in general. So uh, that is Columbus. Turn around and uh, get a panoramic view of the module from here. There is a lot of uh, science going on here now, so uh, we actually have a lot of uh, temp stow on the walls compared to usual. Usually uh, the walls here are fairly clean. And uh, we will notice that uh, we, we have uh, the large bag here uh, stowed on the deck, which is from the ATV and ATV equipment. Uh, this is probably a very good staging area for large bags during uh, SDS-127 that we can get them uh, straight in the door, relieve the mid-deck of their... Um, a big stowage burden with the big bags and uh, just uh, pre-staged them here without messing up the works too much in Columbus. Uh, Columbus remains a very functional module uh, even with the big stowage on the deck there. And I think that wraps up uh, what uh, people wanted to see with regard to hatchways and uh, stowage and uh, of course our uh, look in the Russian segment. And while we're coming through here, we'll just take another view of the um, Node 2, Deck 2 area. Again, uh, a fairly cavernous volume with a very nice window view. We sometimes, uh, we take it for granted, but uh, we often uh, do our phone calling strung from the bungees overhead here and uh, looking out the window below. It's a, it's a very nice view. And this, of course, is where the Earth Cam uh, payload is deployed. So a stowage here would, of course, uh, preclude that payload from being deployed here.